Well, I did it. I bought myself a truck. It's a 2017 Ram 1500 Rebel. Um, I decided to move on from daily driving a Jeep Wrangler. I, I debated how I wanted to make this video or if I even wanted to, but um, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to attempt something here. But uh, I bought it used, obviously. Um, there was a few cosmetic flaws on it that I was fully aware of before buying it that um, really helped negotiating the price. Got it for about $3,000, $3,500 less than a comparable um, year and mileage Rebel. So, uh, pretty happy with it. It has every option that you could get on a Rebel, as far as I'm aware, except for a sunroof, which doesn't bother me at all. But it's got... Uh, the blackout trim, the ram boxes, the bed spray in liner, uh, bed lighting, side rails or side steps, 32 gallon fuel tank, um, trailer tow package, so it's got the trailer brake controller, um, Hemi, obviously, wouldn't have got it if it wasn't. Um, so here's one of the main things. I've ever had it before me hit a rock or some obstacle when they were off-road and bent this front bumper. Now these front bumpers are steel on the Rebels so um, it's 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 bent pretty good but there's no there's no damage or anything to the actual truck it's just cosmetic so that there's one little uh, dent on the back bumper as well not quite as serious but um, you can see here where this got bent outwards when they backed off the rock, I'm assuming. But um, but I was okay with that, because I'm gonna be off-roading it too, nothing crazy, but just enough to get out and um, explore a little bit, go shooting, whatever. And it's been great for that, being able to throw target stands and stuff in the back, um, take the rifles out, it's been great. And it's got the right amount of scratches on it already. So it's pre-scratched. I'm not gonna be super upset or worried if I put a few dents or dings in the paint because it's already kind of messed up but um, you can't really tell anyway here's the back bumper see that where it's pulled out just a little bit right here just looks like they drove over something or got it caught and pulled forward um, again don't care probably wouldn't even notice if I hadn't pointed it out but I have a couple ideas to get that fixed It has no modifications with the exception of a muffler delete, which is horrible. It's so obnoxiously loud and droney. It sounds awesome. The sound is great. The engine makes a great noise. It's just the volume of that sound is way too loud. So I've got a uh, replacement OEM muffler from Walker that I'm going to install. Um, the tires are brand new. It doesn't have the factory Toyos. It's got stock size. Uh, Falcon Wild Peaks on it, the all-terrain version. Uh, perfectly acceptable tire. Definitely not going to replace those, considering they're brand new. Um, they're quiet on the highway, and they've got enough. They've got enough aggressive tread on them that I don't feel worried about taking them out on the rocks and on the in the sand and you know uh, the typical Nevada trails that we got around here. Not too concerned. Yeah, so like I was saying about the muffler delete, it sounds awesome, it's just way too loud, and it leaks. Um, there's an exhaust leak around where the pipe clamp is, so 
just going to replace it all together and be done with it. Um, this does have the air suspension, the factory air suspension, which is working fine. Um, I know a lot of people seem to have trouble with it, mainly in colder climates, but if something goes wrong with it or it fails, I'm just going to rip it out and replace it with um, factory coil spring suspension. I'm not going to lift it. I'm not going to do big tires. I'm not going to do anything. This is strictly a uh, daily driver work truck um, to and from A to B, but still able to get out on the weekends a little bit, just enough to, you know, get out of town. But I'm not going to be doing any crazy rock crawling or anything like that. Okay, so here is the front bumper exploded view of all the parts for a Ram Rebel. Um, I printed this out and walked around the front and just circled all the numbers of, of parts on mine that are messed up. It's mainly this uh, giant skid play right here that's number six, but this trim piece and these two bezels that go around the factory tow hooks, those are pretty messed up too. So I went ahead and ordered all three of these. I'd actually gone to a uh, local body shop to see if they could fix it for me, just to see if it would be something quick and easy. And they wanted $724 is the quote I got for this work. So I decided that was a little too much. Bought all these pieces here for just under 350. Um, Rock Auto had everything except for these trim pieces for the fog light or for the uh, tow hooks. Um, so I got those off of eBay. They were like $46. This was 250, I think, and this was another 20 or 30, something like that. Um, and there's one more piece that was missing that they didn't even notice. So if you look right here, this is the this is the driver's side front wheel. If you look right in front of the tire, there is a uh, fender flare piece that's supposed to go right here that's missing. I guess it got ripped off whenever they were off-roading, but I uh, I got that piece off of eBay as well. It was like another 20 bucks for a brand new one. Um, you can see the remnants of it right here. Um, these two pieces, these are the these are the bolts that hold it in, and they're they're still there, but the trim is ripped off. So I got that piece as well. Um, no big deal. We'll throw all that on there. Like I said, it does have every option that a Rebel would have come with from the factory, I believe, uh, except for the sunroof. If that is incorrect or if you see something that uh, yours has that mine doesn't, if you have a Rebel, let me know. Just interested to learn more than anything. Um, I'm definitely loving these Ram boxes. These things are awesome. I uh, threw my tools in here, a few other things, jumper cables, my hard hat for work. Alright, so I got some parts for this thing. Let's go uh, work on getting them put on.
I don't even think to check, but these uh, exhaust clamps are welded to this, so I'm going to have to uh, break the welds off, off the end of them. So I got the new muffler in, but unfortunately the outlets were about an inch and a half, two inch too close um, compared to this. So the passenger side tailpipe didn't fit exactly right, but I got it wedged in there. I got it welded. It turned into a much bigger job than it should have been, um, which is pretty disappointing, but it's definitely a much quieter ride now. <laughs> So I've been driving this truck for a couple months now, and it's been awesome. It's got so much power, it's so smooth, uh, it's really quiet now with the new muffler, so my wife doesn't hate it. I'm pretty disappointed in the way the muffler fits, I'm probably going to do something different and replace it again, but uh, for now it's just doing what it's supposed to do, it's a much more enjoyable ride, especially long distance. My buddy actually gave me a truck bed tent, so we're going to try that out maybe next spring when it gets warmer again. So I think I'm going to end this video here. I don't have any more plans really for this truck, but we do have uh, some more Jeep stuff coming up. We're in the process of buying a house right now, so it's not going to be anything too soon, but uh, yeah, stay tuned.